Great, thank you so much. Well, Charlotte has certainly attracted musicians from all around the world to come play here, but did you know musicians from around the world actually come to Charlotte for a very important reason? Think about certain brass instruments that require a mouthpiece. Making that mouthpiece is a unique art form, and one of the best in the world lives right here. Producer John Branscombe introduces us to Greg Black in Mount Holly. Mount Holly is a quaint, very personable town. I grew up here, and my dad taught in the public schools for 35 years as a band director. My name is Greg Black. I'm the owner of Greg Black Mouthpieces here in Mount Holly. I'm Tom Burge, and I am a musician with the Charlotte Symphony Orchestra. I'm a trombonist, and everything about that instrument is cool to me. I've been doing it for about 40 years, which dates me. But my art, what we do, we make a sound, and our sound is our signature, all brass players. I have five of Greg's mouthpieces, and I have a host of other mouthpieces that I don't use anymore because I discovered Greg. I make uh, mouthpieces for all the brass instruments, uh, primarily uh, trumpets, trombones, French horns, I do some tuba. I do a lot of customizing for people. For instance, people come to me that want to have uh, something designed specifically for the sound or feel that they want. The, uh, the, the inner rim shape will be softer than, than what it was before. The place where I was working was called Giardinelli Band Instrument Company. The job opportunity came open for me to, to learn the craft of what I'm doing now. Put it on the lathe, do the, the back boring first. Each one of those tapers would dictate the airflow, the sound that comes out. And the smallest changes, you'd be surprised, a thousandth of an inch can make an enormous difference to the sound that it makes. I will do the interior work with a forming tool called a tray pan tool. And then from that point, I'll polish it. And then I'll, after that, I'll get the name stamp and then the model number stamped. And then I'll sand the outside. And then I'll take it into the polishing room there and uh, prepare it for plating. Yeah, I do a New York Philharmonic, Pittsburgh Symphony, LA Philharmonic, Seattle Symphony, studio musicians in New York to Germany to Japan, all over. These are gauges or templates that I use the majority of the time. So for each one of the Legend series that I have, I have a, I have a gauge. Here's Lee Armstrong's museum archive piece we were talking about. And here's Herb Albert. And here is Dizzy's. I'm pretty uh, detailed in my work, and I kind of understand what, what they're trying to achieve uh, in their mouthpiece, and what sound they're wanting, and what feel they're wanting. He's like a translator. I do know what sound I'd like to get, and I do hear the differences in different types of sound. So I can describe to Greg what I want in sound terms, and he can translate that over to what he's going to do specifically with the mouthpiece in order to achieve that goal. I learned custom mouthpieces this way. This is definitely old craftsman style and uh, people like it and uh, takes a little bit longer, but they seem to appreciate it. I do love what I do. Thanks so much, John. I'll always remember Dizzy Gillespie puffing out his cheeks when he played, just like you saw in that photograph. It was a signature and iconic image. Who knew all that would come with a Charlotte connection? Well, there's another kind of connection we're gonna make. For